The ONC is the nearest massive star forming cluster and presents a perfect laboratory to study extra emissions from hot plasmas in a very young cluster. Highly resolved X-ray lines provide crucial information about important processes in the early evolution of young stars. In 55 observations spread over 14 months, the project amassed 1.6 megaseconds of exposure with the high-resolution X-ray spectrometer on board Chandra. We show the megasecond X-ray spectrum of beta 1 over C to the left, the most significant hot collisional plasma spectrum ever recorded. In the higher orders to the right, we resolve the helium-like triplets to iron which provides a significant upper limit to plasma densities. The survey also allows for long-term variability studies involving long periods, flares, and transient behavior in their light curves. The data of the HETG survey are publicly available and full release of advanced data products is expected by summer 2021. Hi everybody, I'm Baptiste Klein, a postdoctoral research assistant at the University of Oxford. And here I present a velocimetric and spectrophorometric analysis of the young premain second star Iomic, around which two closing Neptune-sized transiting planets have recently been unveiled, mostly from test photometry. Using Spirou, a near-infrared velocimeter and spectrophorometer at the canada france Hawaii telescope, we provide a secure uh, mass measurement for the closest planet of the system, Iomic B, and also use the spectropolarimetric capabilities of the instrument to investigate the topology of the large scale magnetic field of the star and the associated activity. If you are interested in knowing more, this study was recently published in ARM MNRS, but you can also uh, have a look uh, to the poster associated with this icon. Looking forward to answer uh, the question you might have and discussing the topic uh, further with you during the virtual cold star meeting. We have applied the Poisson regression model with multiple change points to numerous Chandra selected pre sequence stars and identified over 1,000 X ray super flares, the largest sample ever. We find that the power law energy distribution of these flares is consistent with those of flares from all the stars and the Sun, but the pre sequence super flare occurrence rate is several million times higher than that of the Sun. Prima sequence mega flares may speed up the gas photo operation in the environs by 10 20%, assuming the response to the flares is linear. We've modeled 55 brightest prima sequence super flares, including derivation of associated coronal loop geometries. We find prima sequence super flare characteristics are indistinguishable in discless and disky stars. Prima sequence super flares and solar flares have many features in common, and yet they are very different, including their relative locations on various flare scaling diagrams pointing towards the differences in surface magnetic field strengths, active region sizes, loop geometries, and field topologies. See our poster for more details, including links to our two submitted papers. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for the opportunity. In our poster, we present imaging simulations, which include two different classes of numerical solutions, star disk interaction simulations, and stellar wind simulations from isolated stars, and the primary goal in this work is to measure the torques due to magnetized winds in accretinian stars. We find that stellar outflows from accreting premium sequence stars have a different geometry than outflows in isolated ones. In particular, we find that stellar winds in star disk interaction systems have a conical geometry when they propagate. This particular geometry increases the magnetic braking efficiency of the flow. However, we predict that more massive stellar winds are needed in order to balance the torque due to accretion and further explain the constant spin rates of classical Tutari stars. These more massive stellar winds should, should eject at more than 10% of the mass accretion rate. Thank you very much for your attention. Hi, my name is Laura Flagg. We have detected and characterized the H2 and AU MIC. AU MIC is a 20 million year old flaring M1 star with a debris disk and multiple transiting planets. Initially, the H2 was thought to be in the disk or potentially even just a foreground source, but the response to a flare in the line profile of the H2 shows that the H2 is in the star. However, this leaves us with a major puzzle, because estimates of the temperature of the H2 based on line ratios put the gas between 1,000 and 1,500 Kelvin, well below the photospheric temperature of 3,800, and even below the lowest published star spot temperature of 2,650. Still, we believe a very cold star spot is a plausible explanation, that or it's in a cold layer between the photosphere and the chromosphere, equivalent to the ceomosphere in solar type stars. We are also exploring possibilities of non-thermal heating as a result of the flare. If anyone has any suggestions, please let us know. Thank you. Ulysses, the ultraviolet legacy library of young stars as essential standards, is a 1000 orbit director's discretionary program with Hubble. 
it is producing a spectroscopic library of young high and low mass stars in the local universe. The low mass stars are T Tauri stars with a broad range of masses and accretion rates. We are obtaining single epoch Cos and Stis spectra of about 67 survey targets and time monitoring of four prototypical targets. Here I show archival spectra of GMRIGI that illustrate the wavelength coverage and spectral resolution obtained for the survey targets, and I show a plot of accretion rate versus mass for the sample. Observations began in fall 2020 with spectroscopy of 13 stars in the Orion OB1 and Sigma Ori star forming regions. The first monitoring observations of TW Hydri are scheduled for March, and additional survey targets will be observed later in the spring. Look for our data release on March 17th. Young and Solar Associations hold a record of star formation persisting for millions of years, providing critical insight into the progression of star formation. Using a Bayesian framework for the photometric identification of young stars, we identify approximately 30,000 candidate young stars within 333 parsecs of the sun. In this population, we identify 27 topical groups, including associations like Scosen, Taurus, Perseus, and the near edge of Orion. And we analyze subclustering for 10 of these that have visible substructure. Many of these groups show intriguing star formation patterns spanning tens of millions of years, and in some cases, hundreds of parsecs. One example is found in Scosen, where we identify an apparent origin for star formation along a semicircular arc and a clear gradient in ages moving away from that arc, consistent with sequential star formation with a propagation speed of four kilometers per second. Many other exciting results have emerged from our studies of substructure and star formation history in other groups that our study has covered. So look for me in Gather Town or to see my poster to learn more. Thank you. Here is a full application of our Python package star mount in just one minute. We designed StarMelt to quickly and systematically analyze spectra for the large amount of archival and upcoming data of pre-main sequence stars. We are mapping the accretion and inner disk of these stars via emission line tomography, but StarMelt also has many further applications for other spectral analysis. From the input spectra, StarMelt automatically finds, identifies, and fits models to the emission lines. With velocity analysis from time-resolved data, we can probe the spatial scales of accretion, with line ratios from the modeled fits, we can uncover the density and temperature ranges in the inner disk. Even though this clip has been sped up, you can still see how fast and easily Starmer obtains all of these highly detailed results and performs the different analyses. With the automated part finished, we use the results to infer the tomographic map of pre-main sequence stars, as you see here for X-Loop. Thank you for watching.